Big day in Uvalde for the first time since 19 children and two teachers were killed at Robb Elementary on May 24th. Students at that school district finally returned to class. And there were more questions tonight. Accountability still a major issue in all this. We've learned some DPS troopers that responded that day are under review for their actions or inaction. And there were also issues brought up over virtual learning for students who were not ready to go back into classrooms yet. Now, it was also a tough day for some parents. The night team's Lee Waldman is live outside of Uvalde Elementary. Lee, you spoke with parents. What did they tell you? The parents were saying they were anxious, but something that made us smile today is there were big smiles and hugs from students as they were walking out of school today. Their parents saying, though, they can't breathe a sigh of relief until their kids were safely back in their arms at the end of the day. Did you have the best first day? Yeah. Yeah? What about you, sweetheart? Good. It was good? What was your favorite part about today? Going to math. Students at Uvalde Elementary happily walked out of school and into their awaiting parents' arms on this highly anticipated first day. She, well, we were watching the news earlier and she, it said 33 state troopers and she was a little bit more happy with that, you know, and uh, especially with the fencing and everything going on here. As parents, that helps us out too. Not everyone was as assured. Mom of two, Andrea Zamora, says she has mixed feelings. You can try to have all the protection you want, but when it boils down to it, you never know how you're going to react to a situation. We saw a large presence of DPS officers at the school Monday for training. Today, those officers were patrolling and standing by gates. This comes as a DPS spokesperson announced five officers who were at Robb Elementary on May 24th are being investigated by the Texas Inspector General's office for their actions that day. Two are on leave with pay pending the results of the investigation. DPS is not releasing their names. Meanwhile, Zamora thinks her feelings of anxiety will fade as the year progresses. I guess after a few days of seeing that nothing's going to happen, might make them feel a little bit more at ease. Might make the parents feel more at ease as well. Uvalde parent Celeste Ibarra isn't so sure. I think that feeling will go away as more time passes. No. No. Mm -mm. Was it a hard decision to let them go in person this year? Yeah, it was. The district said they had almost 89% of their anticipated enrollment on the first day of school today. If we look back to last year, they had almost 86% of their anticipated enrollment then. Lee, today the first day for Uvalde's virtual academy as well for parents and kids who just aren't ready to go back into classrooms yet. The last time the district gave us an update, there were 136 students enrolled. We're hearing some rumors that that did not go so well today. What can you tell us about that? What I can say about that is I spoke with one parent who said that their child was enrolled in the virtual academy and yesterday they were given or they received an email from the district at about 440 in the afternoon and that email said the district was still working on getting everything set for their virtual academy and in the meantime the students would meet via Google Meet. Now I did email the district about this hoping to get some more information. I was told I would receive clarifying information about it and as of right now I've gotten nothing back from the district. Live in Evaldi, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.